I must admit, I like reverbs. I don't necessarily use a lot of reverb, but I want my reverbs to sound good. Sometimes I want natural sounding reverbs that sounds like a room, like a space. Sometimes I want reverbs that fills in the gap between snare hits and vocal phrases and such. And plate reverbs are excellent for that. And today we're gonna compare some excellent plugins that emulates the EMT140 plate reverb. Hi, my name is Roger and welcome. The criteria I had for choosing reverbs to compare in this video was that they should be modeled after or at least inspired by the EMT140 plate reverb. And it should say so somewhere, either in the name like 140 or on the website where they describe it. There are of course other great sounding plate reverbs out there, but if it didn't say that it was modeled after this reverb, I chose not to include it. I use plate reverbs mainly as a tail. What I mean by tail I described in another video, I will link it down below, where I describe how I see different kind of reverbs. But I use it mainly on percussive instruments like drums, claps or vocals to fill in the gaps, to lengthen the vocal. I will show you that in this video, so let's compare some reverbs. Let's start with a dry snare drum. Well, it's a snare drum recorded inside of a drum kit. Now let's listen to some reverbs. I aimed for a length at about one and a half to two seconds and I tried to adjust the length and level the same on each reverb that we're going to compare. I will tell you my opinion of these reverbs but I'm curious about what you think. Do you have a favorite? What reverb would you use where? Please leave a comment. Let's start with the Universal Audio EMT-140. On the snare drum it sounds like this. I really like this reverb. It sounds smooth, lush and bright at the same time and it really glues together with the original signal which I really like. The next plugin on the list is from Arturia. They have a reverb they call Rev Plate 140 and it sounds like this. more of a swell and maybe a little bit harsher. I don't feel that it glues together with the original signal as much, but that could be beneficial. Used on claps, for example, that's where I would use it. Next is not a plugin by itself. It's actually impulse responses from my friends at Nevo Studios here in Sweden. They have made impulse responses from famous reverbs. I will link it down below, check them out. They have also presets for all kinds of impulse response reverbs like altiverb, cubase, whatever. So you can sh use it, whatever you have. The EMT-140 from them sounds like this. Bigger, maybe softer, bigger, a little bit bassier, but bigger. Did I say that? bigger. It's a very big reverb. The next plugin is new to me. It's from Fuse Audio Labs and I reached out to them and they gave me an extended demo license so I can show you how this reverb sounds. Thank you Fuse for that. Sounds like this. A bit more metallic but it glues together with the original signal in a good way. It sounds really good, I think. Then there's a plugin I didn't get to work. This is Black Rooster Audio's R0140 and uh, no. Can you see that the input signal is all the way up, even though I'm not sending anything to it? I don't, I can't get it to work. It's a trial license. Do you have it? Do you own it? Does it work? How does it sound? Please leave a comment because I'm curious. But I can show you the Waves Abbey Road plates. It doesn't say EMT-140 anywhere, but on the website it says that it's modeled by a reverb that was introduced in the 50s and there was only one plate reverb introduced in the 50s, so it should be the EMT-140. It sounds like this. Wow. 
wide is my first impression. It's very, very wide. And it sort of sits on top of the snare drum instead of together with the snare drum. Could be in both good and bad ways. But wide, very wide. Last and least, actually, because this reverb has the least amount of controls, is the little plate from Sound Toys. It sounds like this. If someone asked me to describe a plate reverb with words, I would probably end up describing this reverb because it's bright, it's a little bit metallic, it glues together with the original signal and it's sort of lush. This is all that. It's a typical plate reverb. Maybe not the most interesting one, but it still sounds awesome in my opinion. Now let's listen to all the reverbs after each other. You get four snare hits with each reverb. So how about vocals? I made the reverbs a little bit longer, just over two seconds. I also high passed the input of the reverb because I didn't like the boominess. It took away from the listening experience of the reverb. That's why the vocal dry sounds like this. Is that I don't know enough at all? Everywhere I... Uh a dry, boring, non-interesting vocal, non-exciting vocal, but how about with some UAD 140 reverb? Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go It's lush, it fills in the gap. Obviously too much reverb, but I exaggerated it so we all can hear the reverb quality in this video, for this video. How about the Arturia? Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go A little bit harsher, a little bit narrower, I would say. And you can also hear the swell more from the plate reverb. I wouldn't choose this on vocal, maybe on other things. Claps is still my go-to, I think. Now the Nevo. Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go Isn't that cozy? Really, really cozy. Pillowy. Is that a word? If it, if it isn't a word, it is now. It's pillowy. Fuse Audio Labs. Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go I think I like it more on the vocal than I did on the snare drum because it glues itself to the vocal more than other reverbs. The UAD does it too, but it sort of it, it's the same sort of the same signal as the original vocal, which I like. It's a bit more metallic, but that could be a good thing if we lower the reverb signal. Obviously, it's too much reverb. How does the Abbey plates sound? Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go It's very, very wide and it's very, very lush. I probably won't use it on vocals, lead vocals, but maybe on background vocals, strings, pads, a ballad piano where you want a big sounding space. It sounds really good, but it's very wide. And last and still least is the sound toys little plate is that i don't know enough at all everywhere i go i don't know what it is with this plugin but it makes the vocal more exciting in my opinion uh, it without changing anything you can't control much on the plugin itself but you can always put a delay before it if you want a pre delay you can always eq the reverb signal either into the reverb or after the reverb or both. Now let's listen to all the reverbs after each other. Is that I don't know enough at all Everywhere I go 
So what is your favorite? My favorite is all of them, I think, because they are all good, but in totally different ways. On vocals, I would probably go for the UAD, the Fuse, or maybe the Little Plate from Sound Toys. On percussive instruments, the UAD or maybe Arturia is my first choice. If I want a big lush reverb on some strings, Nevo or Waves is my way to go. How about you? What would you do? Please subscribe, like, share this video, comment down below, all those things. And plot is the Swedish translation of plate. Plot. Until next time, Roger that. Mm -hmm.